LeBron James to release second children's book, We Are Family, in August. Just know he's releasing it in August because that's when Kobe was born. I'll get to that later. So LeBron James and Andrea Williams, We Are Family, is the name of this children's book, which clearly she wrote, and LeBron James's name's in bold above her. Again, just to help sell this book, which I'm sure will win an award, just like his first one. Again, what a joke. So you've got LeBron James, best NBA player over the last 15 years. He's also a Hollywood actor and an incredible author as well. Look at this fat kid here in the green shirt doing the skull and bones crossed arms. It's just a joke. Look at here. It's a nice little Illuminati triangle sideways here. It's what they do. They're very subtle with it. Ha, 156 shares. Oh, my word. When you type in 33 into the Gematronator, it gets you 156. When you type in 666, it gets you 156. Wow. Akron, Ohio basketball star and Akron native LeBron James has co-authored a second children's book, We Are Family, set for publication on August the 31st. The book is a follow-up to James's New York Times best-selling picture book debut, I Promise, which published in August 2020. Notice how this one also published in August, the month that Kobe was born. And in 2020, like 22, basketball equals 22 and is inspired by his foundation's I Promise programs and the I Promise School in Akron. And this is what they do with LeBron. They give him these lines to recite to make him look like this genuine guy when really he's a massive Luciferian and he knows people get sacrificed for his success. Everyone has a story and unique set of challenges they are going through that we don't hear about, James said in the release. We Are Family shows how an unlikely group of kids comes together to chase their dreams, despite having the odds stacked against them. So LeBron James, every time he gets interviewed, is always coming out with the same garbage. I'm just a boy from Akron living his dream. Been saying the same thing now for like 20 years almost. And it's becoming a joke. So listen, anyone who thinks this guy is behind this book, needs to have a word with himself. So LeBron equals 66, 30, 96, and 33. His upcoming book is called We Are Family, and family equals 66, 30, 96, and 33. Exactly the same as LeBron. LeBron James equals 42. Notice he also equals 66. Just like family, just like Le LeBron. And check this out said that they're going to release this on August the 31st, 2021. And that has 42 date numerology. Just like LeBron James, it has 33 date numerology. Just like LeBron. And they're going to release this book three months and 30 days before LeBron James' is upcoming December the 30th, 2021 birthday where he turns 37. By the way, Los Angeles equals 37. This is just all, again, by the numbers. LeBron, like I said, equals 33. And just look at that. Check out the three months and 30 days. It's right in front of you. My word. And like I said, LeBron James will go six and six with the Lakers. And when you type in Lakers, it gets you 66 as well. Notice how it gets you 96 and 42. LeBron James equals 42. In regards to the 96, LeBron equals 96. And people say, oh, you're just searching for these numbers. It's so easy to find it. These people are absolutely clueless. We Are Family, the name of this upcoming children's book, equals 179. Also equals 55, like Los Angeles. But it equals 179 in reverse ordinal. 179 is the 41st prime. Notice this book's coming out in 2021. 20 plus 21 gets you 41. But 41's heavily connected with this fraud here, Kobe Bryant. He brought out a poem which supposedly he wrote called Dear Basketball. I'm not going to read it. It's cringeworthy. In my opinion, he clearly didn't write this. 
some Jesuit did it. But I'll get a photo of Kobe holding a basketball, looking all serious. No way he wrote this. Absolutely embarrassing. Guy's just an absolute actor, or he was anyway. Who knows what he's doing now? I don't believe he died. The yeah, basketball equals 113 and 41. How convenient, eh? The poem that he writes before he retires equals 113 and 41. And Kobe Bryant equals 113 and 41. And LA equals 41. And he dies at the age of 41. And they say that his helicopter, from the time that it set off to it crashing, was a span of 41 minutes. In regards to the 113s, again, the people who say that this is coincidental, just fast asleep. National Basketball Association equals 113, like the NBA, it also equals 202. And when did LeBron get that deal? 2020. Look at that. For another 113, the most iconic player ever to play the game, Michael Jordan equals 113. And if you want to type in 100 NBA player names, See how many equal 113. You won't find many at all, but Kobe Bryant does. Michael Jordan does. The National Basketball Association does. They're two of the biggest superstars to ever play the game. Again, people who dismiss this knowledge are just the fast asleep. The fast asleep. Um, wow. So again, there'll be a lot of people going out there buying this. Probably going to win another award. Eventually, LeBron James will be turning up to schools, signing the books, putting on a happy face. The guy's a Luciferian man. Like I've said many times, people get sacrificed for his success and he knows it. And he just plays us, that guy. Like, do you really believe, okay, yeah, he's an incredible athlete, like the majority of the NBA players. But what has he gone to like 10 straight NBA finals? The guy's 36 now. He'll be back next week from his scripted injury where the Lakers are going to go on a big run. They win it again, which I've said, and the following year, and he does go 6-6, six and six, and LeBron equals 66, and LeBron James equals 66, Lakers equals 66. Will people still dismiss this? Probably. LeBron could be playing at 65 years old and winning NBA championships, and people will say, well, he's got a good diet. He's looked after himself. And what an amazing author. He'll have 15 New York best-selling books, probably win an Oscar. By the way, Kobe's poem, um, that got turned into a short film, and that won an Oscar. Of course it did. Of course it did. And uh, I'm sure at some point LeBron James will win a Nobel Prize. <laughs> like all these Jesuits and Masons are awarded. So anyway, there you have it. Please don't buy this book for your kids or for yourself because it's just a disgrace. It's a ritual. It's another way for them to make more money. And uh, what a joke.